control the depths. And they're not alone. Tyrannosaurs come here from across the South Pacific. Males also gather here to display to females. But for now, this bay has something. They've been worn by the action of river water, but they're hard to find. Here, however, in the pool at the bottom of a waterfall, there are plenty of them, and the Tyrannosaurs can take their pick. For the calf, at last, success. As many as he can, and as he grows, he'll return here for more. Back in the shallow waters of Zealandia, large groups of Tuarangosaurs have come together. They propel themselves with all four fins and travel almost effortlessly to find the fish shoals that gather here in summer. Occasionally, they break the surface to gulp air before continuing on their underwater flight. But one female is not swimming with her usual grace. She and her two-year-old, the mother and calf, are not entirely alone. These individuals may be related, and it's in all their interests to drive Kai Kaifinu away. Now, supported by her family, she can take her place as a predator. In one of the richest habitats on Earth, the sea is around the coasts of our prehistoric planet. the only shelter for thousands of miles. In this rare place, Tyrannosaurus, a kind of elasmosaur, finds safety. Inside these shadows, it's a different story. Each day, the elasmosaurs must venture into deeper water. Nutrients driven up from the ocean floor 
ensure a plentiful supply of fish. Streamlined bodies and four powerful flippers give elasmosaurs great maneuverability. But their daily feeding forays make their movements predictable. With so many elasmosaurs living here, it's not long before there is another opportunity. Waiting for a young, inexperienced individual, the ideal victim. <laughs> 